So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Well, you've all finally done it. You've all broke me. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the hive. It's Barnet, the FC Halifax Tan in the Vanarama National League. So after five years of me chatting bollocks, I finally ran out of content. I'm out. No more ideas. The well is truly dry. It's over. It's finally over. I was sitting in my hot tub last night trying to get some inspiration just so I could think of something for this intro. And while them bubbles were slapping against my titties, I could couldn't think of anything. So I just filmed myself for your enjoyment. Hi folks, Fat Man here. Ah, yeah. I'm taking a soak in the hot tub for your enjoyment. Yeah, look at my stomach. Very nice, huh? Oh, it's down at my feet. Thank you for watching this production. Bye now. Oh, what? You thought the vlogs were stopping? Gotcha, bitch. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to the football. No! So Halifax Town currently sit ninth after 28 games played. Well, they've won 12, they drew 6, and they've lost 10. Scoring 36, conceding 39. Goldens of minus 3, and they sit on 42 points. And the last five games have been two wins, one draw, and two losses. <laughs> Peter Wilde is still in charge and he's now taking 30 games, winning 13, drawing 6, losing 11, giving him a win percentage of 43.33. <laughs> Number 15, Liam McLinden, who has 10 goals in 26 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 12th of the 3rd, 2019. Barnet 1, Halifax Tan 1. Fongo giving us the lead on the 24th minute. Devante Rodney equalised on the 72nd minute. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of Tan. Fuck you, FC Halifax Tan. How's it feel being relegated from the Football League twice? Uh, but Matt, Barnet have been relegated three times from the Football League. So, that's one more than us. Yeah, well, we've won the league three times. That's one more than you, you bunch of anchors. Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet today is unchanged in a 3-5-2 Loach in goal. Your three centre halves, Elliot Johnson, Harry Taylor, and Callum Reynolds. David Sutton is your left wing back. Shay Alexander is your right wing back. Two centre mids, Jack Taylor and Captain James Dunn. Wesley Fongook in the number 10 role. And up front, Simi Nakanola and Jack Barham. And this is our FC Halifax Town lineup in a 4-3-3. Quarter of an hour gone, nil-nil here. Within the first 10 seconds of kickers, we'll go straight down the other end. Nakanola plays through to Jack Barham. Jack Barham at a tight angle, gets a shot off. A couple of minutes after that, quick break by Halifax, Allen running down, they've got two against our three centre back, he drops the shoulder, goes past Reynolds, puts the ball into the box, Ari Taylor clears, went for a corner. Halifax had a free kick about 25 yards out, it was played to the back post which was knocked in to Staunton, free header, Loach comfortably saved. 21 in, rocket by Jack Taylor, the keepers kept it at 0-0. Nil -nil. So Tom delays off Jack Taylor, he's about 20 yards out, no one round him, he's put his foot right through it, it's going top in, the keeper's got fingertips to it somehow and pushed it wide. 23 minutes in, Barnet nil, FC Halifax turn one. King whips a lovely ball in about 20 yards out, no one closing down. We stand off every time, every game, no matter who we play. All the way to the back post, unmarked, red short, just taps it home. Wonderful. Well, at least we've seen a goal. 27 in, Halifax still lead 1 0. Should have pulled one back. Jack Taylor plays the ball into Shea. Shea whips the ball into the back post. Sim, it looks like an open goal. Only got to tap it in, box it over the bar. Five to the half, the score hasn't changed. Red short, another opportunity for him. Creeping in on the right hand side. Loach punches it over for a corner. We cleared our lines on that one. Game's been okay. Both teams passing around well. Both teams going forward well. But Halifax have taken their chance. 
Half time here at the Hive, it's Barnet nil, it's FC Halifax Tan 1. Usual same stuff from us, pretty football, passing it in parts, well, passage of, all of that, like, I'm bored of saying it now, I really am. It's the same shit, different game, different day. I'm sick and tired of going up against teams who take chances, score, and we do nothing. Halifax have been quite organised, it's hard to break them down, they're quick with their play, they're dropping deep. The front three for Halifax will give us a torrid time for the first 45 minutes. Seeking, Redshaw and Alex. The movement's been really good. But the biggest frustration from us all, why do we not keep anyone up when it's a corner? At nil-nil, fine. Get everyone back, defend the goal. I don't have a problem with that. But when you're losing, which we are now, we're keeping no one up. So the second that we win that ball, when it goes out, what's going to happen to it? Now, you don't need pro license to understand basic football. Keep Fonguk up if you're going to. He wins nothing in the air. Other than that, what's the point of having everyone back when you're losing? I'm just getting bored of saying the same shit week in, week out, every time we have a game. So Second half coming up with 45 more wonderful, glorious minutes of my life watching this. Come on, Barnet. Yeah! 57 minutes in, we're back in this. Barnet 1, FC Halifax Town 1. We made two subs at half time, changed formation. Mason Clark whipped a ball into the box. It lands quite fortunately to Jack Taylor, who has a little toe poke home bottom corner. We have started the brighter in the second half, but Halifax have changed formation and they've gone to a five at the back and they're defending deep. 20 minutes to go, it's still 1-1. We get a free kick about 20 yards out. We've taken it quick, no one's ready. Jack Taylor plays it down the line to Mason Clark, who whips the ball in and it just hits Akinoda in the chest because no one's ready for it. She just went wide at the post. It's been a lot better this half by half. We've upped it. Into the last 10 of the game, it's still 1-1. Both sides are going for it. Mason Clark, since he's come on, he's been really good. His whip ball's in. One to the back post, no one anticipating for a tap in a mark, but then Halifax went down the other end. Nice one two passes, McLinden shot cross along goal, little tap in if someone was there. Into the 90th, the score hasn't changed, it just added on four minutes. So the game finished, Barnet's 1, FC Halifax Town 1. Well, I said I wanted to see a goal, but I didn't want us to see us go 1-0 down. I thought Halifax Town started the brighter. I thought they set up well in their formation. Their front three was giving us a difficult time. But it's another game. As the game goes on and we grow into it, get our shape, we start playing some football. It's the final third. Everyone going on about saying, the problem is we need a striker. Even the manager saying we need a striker. I think that's disrespectful knowing that we've got a striker and he's not being used in the right way. Got carted off after 45 minutes. Didn't have much to work with. You could say he had a little impact. Sim played 90 minutes. What did he do? Why did he deserve to play 90 minutes? Over someone who's just come back off of a loan spell. Been playing really well. Second half, both teams changed formation. Halifax sat too deep. We've gone for the high press and the attacking. And Valetti and Mason Clark changed the game. And it needs to be done driving at them. If we lose Jack Taylor in this month or at the end of this season, we are fucked. Because without him, we've got no one putting the strings. It was a fair result in the end, so I can't complain too much. But next up is the cut, Varsity Celtic away. You know what to do? Ta-da! Hey, Red. How'd it go? Same old shit. Different day. <laughs> 